Hey, everybody, and welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're here at the beautiful cutting room in Midtown Manhattan, presented by Show X, by our friends at Show X. We're live right now with Mr. Waylon Payne. Waylon Payne, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks, buddy. Yeah. Glad to yeah. be here. Man, this is this is very cool. Thank you for making this part of your New York trip. I know uh, this is your uh, you were over over at CBS earlier. That that's about to yeah. to air. So congratulations. Yeah, that's, watch uh, Saturday if you want to see some new music on CBS. That's right, man. It's a big step. I want to also show people uh, the album Blue Eyed, The Harlot, The Queer, The Pusher, and Me. This is the record. Thank you for this copy. Now Absolutely. I own it. I appreciate it very much. And uh, we're about to hear a lot of music from it. What's coming up first yeah. today? Dead on a wheel. How about that? She's lying there dead on a wheel Right there in the brightness of the day They reckon a disaster, yeah, that's all that they say As if she cannot hear them All the people do is throw a stone and knock her down What a crying shame Whatever happened to just giving a hand To someone who was in need But the people all scream and they shout and they cheer As she's lying there bleeding Heart dying dead on the wheel oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Two. Nice. 
Man, thank you, dude. This sounds great. And uh, we, I, I'm going to, I've been listening to the album quite a bit lately on Spotify, and now I own it on, on vinyl. So again, thank you for You're this. I'm going to dive right in. And this is, it's special. This is super, super heavy. Let me show the people out on the internet that there are in fact two discs in here for a 12 song album so you've got three cuts on each side of this yeah um can you talk about the structure of it and how the the reason why the 12 songs are the are the way they are um how you why you released them the way you did and just how it describes what's happened basically your entire life up until right now in in four phases four pretty acts. much it's uh it, you know that was kind of a brainchild of of all of our group um they felt like there were four stories, or I kind of decided since I, I am in theater and have a career in films, I, I would like to try it as acts because it seems like my life has been a series of acts, one act plays, whatever. Um, and uh, it just so happened that each one fell into its particular category and just uh, came out the way it was supposed to. I'm so incredibly, incredibly pleased with it. Um, the reception's been really good so far. Um, I think that it, people are hearing it, which really makes me happy, you know? Um, you can do an album and you can do a project, and I think we all want it to resonate with somebody, and we all hope it does. It's not a guarantee, though. Um, but as, as the days go by, as this thing has come to light, it seems to be doing its job. So that makes me incredibly proud. Good. Well, I mean, you should be proud about it. The album has resonated with me. I've been listening to it a lot. And um, so we just, we just heard one uh, that was Dead on a Wheel from yeah. Act 1. And yes, now sir. we're moving into Act 2. What, uh, what does Act 2 represent? And what's the song that, uh, that best represents it here for this session today? What song are we doing? Uh, we said Dangerous Criminal, but it's, yeah. I mean, again, it's dealer's choice. Literally, whatever you want to play is the right answer. I just forgot which one we were doing next. <laughs> we can't edit that out either because we're live, right? <laughs> no. uh, it just kind of goes through, uh, I think Act 1 starts with me realizing that my life has been kind of screwed up. All of it, you know? I don't place blame anywhere because I don't believe blame is useful. Uh, but you got to name it sometimes. I've had father issues most of my life. Um, and I've been probably the most dangerous criminal I've ever known, so I guess that's where this one comes from. Uh, Sifting through the ashes of the maiden voyage Kinda left him feeling all alone Everything Everyone Had moved on He tries to find his own way But he ends up on the freeway Just driving through the night to ease his bones he ain't gonna find it on this road He's a dangerous criminal A dangerous criminal Dangerous Thought that you can't be bribed or bought Let it flow away down deep into your soul You can't remember truth From lies you told Oh, but still you keep on reaching You keep hoping and believing Somewhere there's a revelation on this journey that you're on But hey boy Why are you always alone? A dangerous criminal A 
dangerous criminal Thank you, Waylon. So this, Absolutely. you you mentioned um, uh, before the last song something about your, your acting career, and there's probably a lot of people that know you as Jerry Lee Lewis from, from the Johnny Cash movie, Walk the Line. Yes, sir. Um, is that still, is that an ongoing thing? Are you still balancing, like, one foot in acting, one foot in music uh, currently? I kind or of was... give, yeah, I mean, I, I always will. I, um, I'm uh, right now focused on this album. There's a role that's coming up, I do believe, uh, that's that's uh, uh, going to be a, a, a neat adventure. But for right now, uh, I'm playing music, and I'll focus on that when that comes here in a few months. Are those? I mean, does it feel like you're you're flexing a vastly vastly different muscle when acting versus music, or is it kind of flexing a similar creativity for you? I believe it's all show business and entertainment, and. Uh, um, it's just always fit together for me. It seems to work real natural. I get the most rest when I, believe it or not, am on the road playing concerts or uh, on movie sets because it's a very, if you get in the groove, you know, you can figure it out. And uh, when we're on the road, we're usually the opening act, so we're not that late. And uh, I have a rule that the boys are in bed at night by 10 o'clock when, <laughs> when, when we're on the road so we can get up and go early in the morning. I like to drive uh six on you know and Does i don't let anybody PD? else drive so <laughs> it, pd's in bed by 10 as well yeah nobody drinks in the uh in the band nobody uh uh does any narcotics or anything like that it's just a cool responsible group of boys that really like to play music and yeah Nice. Good. Well, I mean, good for you for, it sounds like there is, is upcoming acting work. Good for you for staying working. That's uh, hey, more, more uh, than a lot we'll of people see. can if say. A, that, that, if that happens, that'll be a blessing in disguise. So yeah, that'll be a neat thing. But. Well, we'll look forward to it. I enjoy, I enjoyed your performance in Walk the Line very, very much, as did a lot of people. So thank you for doing that. Thank Absolutely. you for doing this today, man. There's a lot of music coming up from Blue Eyes, The Harlot, The Queer, The Pusher, and Me, which is uh, what's, what's happening next today. I think we're into, phase, into Act 3 now. Act 3. Uh... What did you say? Your, yeah, your your calls again, but uh, born born to lose. Oh, that's was, the one, think, right? Yeah. I wrote this with my buddy Thomas Yankton. I went away. You swore you'd wait for me. Hurt me as bad as it must have hurt you Well, the clouds started rolling away Until I could see I kept holding on 
your phone kept ringing That's how it feels when you're born to lose That's how it feels being the losing kind That's how it feels when you're born to lose When you're born to lose Oh, to lose I heard the talk around town you'd found someone new Couldn't believe A word that they said to me I know love is a rose And baby, I got the thorn Oh, it smells so sweet But it made me bleed That's how it feels When you're born to how it feels being the losing kind Oh, that's how it feels when you're born to lose When you're born to lose Oh, to Can we talk a little bit about the relationship between you and Frank and you and Eric? And um, those guys are the, the producers of, of this album. Great, great. And yeah, I mean, what, what does it look like when you guys sit down in a room together to create and to bring an album like this into the world? Uh, like, who brings what to the table? And, uh, and what does that relationship look like? You know what? I will say this Frank Liddell uh, gave me absolutely everything I needed and then stepped back and let me do it. And uh, he guided it with a loving hand. Uh, Massey knew uh, the ins and outs of the technicals, you know. Um, but it pretty much was a situation where we just sat in the room and, I mean, what you hear on that record is pretty much what we did. You know, it's a live record. It's, uh... Frank has been one of my friends for since 1995, 94 maybe. And uh, he's like a dad to me and uh, a best friend. And, you know, his wife uh, is Leanne Womack and, and she and he and their whole family have just treated me like a, an extended family member for most of my life. So, and Eric uh, came along with Frank and I'd, I'd never met Eric before, but uh, we started working together, you know, cutting the, 
cutting some demos for this thing and it just kind of felt right. He's a very jovial person. Just uh, everybody just wanted this thing to to be and I think that once it started being that uh people just fell in love with it, you know. It's a it's a different kind of a project, I think. Yeah, it sounds I mean it's a, a long time a long time coming from the yeah. from the second to last album to this album. So it sounds like it was always clear that Frank was going to be the guy. Like he would be the one that wanted to produce this, right? I mean, I didn't know that that was going to happen until I came back. I kind of I kind of knew that it would end up happening. Uh but I wasn't going to be bold enough to say it, but that was my plan when I came back to Nashville was to get him to record me. Nice. Yeah. Well, well, I'm glad that that worked out that way. I've been enjoying the record very much. Well, I'm sure glad you like it. One more look at this. Dude, this is so cool. Thanks again for uh, for giving it to me. And there is, uh, we're going to hear, we're headed into Act 4 right now, which we said, we said Santa Ana wins, if that makes sense. But the other two from Act 4, Precious Thing, Old Blue Eyes, Anywhere you want to go with it, we'd love to hear. Uh, we'd love to hear everything that you've played so far, and whatever comes out next, we'll be happy with. Precious. Uh... The only reason this record is even possible is because I had an experience in my life that was very profound. It was love. Some friends uh, just knew I needed something. And I learned to trust them, and I got better. My little buddy Lake Johnson is the reason I wrote this song. As I wrote it, he was about to turn one and I was gonna miss his birthday. And all I wanted to do was get home and I did. <laughs> oh, the Santa Ana winds Gonna carry me back to you I've been a long time gone away but the Santa Ana winds are gonna carry me back to you. Cause I wanna see your face. But if the day comes that you leave me, I won't cry, I'm gonna smile. When the day comes that you need me, baby, well, I walk every mile. And then the Santa and the winds gonna carry me back to you. I've been a long time gone away. But the Santa and the winds are gonna carry me back to you. So when you feel that old breeze blowing, you know I'll be right behind. And the Santa Ana winds, they're gonna carry me back to you. I've been a long time gone away. Oh, but the Santa Ana winds are gonna carry me back to you because I wanna see your face, your face, your face.
Thank you, Aaron. Man, thank you. That's Acts 1 through 4. We've just heard uh, heard 4 from Blue Eyes, The Harlot, The Queer, The Pusher, and Me. There's also this book that I haven't shown people yet. What? And I actually haven't had a chance to leaf through this guy yet. I noticed that Petey, your you dog, is in there. I wrote an essay for each song and uh, kind of steer you through uh, what's going on. And uh, it's just a, uh, just a cool little book of thoughts with my favorite people in it. Yeah. Nice. Well, thank you for coming and doing thank this. Thank you for um, having me. What do you do? You feel like do you feel like bonus song? Do you feel like wrapping up, or how are you feeling right now? I do this song every night for my mama and for Chris Christopherson, who changed my life. Takes a ribbon from your hair. Shake it loose and let it fall It's laying soft against your skin Like the shadows on the wall Come and lay down by my side Till the early morning light All I'm taking is your time So help me make it through the night Well I don't care what's right or wrong Understand Let the devil take tomorrow Lord, tonight I need a friend But yesterday is dead and gone And tomorrow is out of sight And it's sad to be alone Help me make it through the night To be alone Help me make it through the night No, I don't want to be alone Help me make it through the night Thank you very much for having me. Cool, cool, cool. Waylon, thank you so much for doing this. Enjoy the rest of your brief trip to New York. And congratulations to you on the, the uh, morning show. You're going to be on that show on Saturday. CBS so. Saturday morning. Check it out. Cool, man. We appreciate you making Oh, we just saw Smiley just Smiley out of the corner. Came. Just Smiley, out of the you corner. Come so visit he some? made his cameo, too. That's great. Um, he knew it was time to go. He was like, let's get out of here. <laughs> man, well, this has been a lot of fun.